the person sold an electronic watch at rupees 96 in such a way that his percentage profit is same as the cost price of the watch. If he sells it at twice the profit of its previous profit, then the new selling price will be. Right? So basically, it says the selling price of a watch is rupees 96. Selling price is 96. And it was sold in such a way that, see, a person sold a watch at rupees 96. So selling price is 96 and it was sold in such a way that the percentage profit is same as cost price. Now, what is percentage profit? Percentage profit, it says, is same as cost price. You know how to calculate percentage profit, right? S minus C by C into 100, right? So, we can say uh, S minus C by C into 100 equals to C. Now, you already know what is the value of S, 96. Substitute 96 here. Now, the moment you substitute 96 here, this will become a equation in terms of C, right? What do we get? 96 minus C upon C, 100, which is equal to C. Now, you'll have to solve this uh, quadratic equation, right? This will result in a quadratic equation. Solve that to get the value of C. Once you get C, he says, now once you get C, you will also get to know the profit. See, you know the selling price already. After finding out the cost price, you can find out the profit. Now he says, if he sells at twice the earlier profit, twice the previous profit. So whatever profit he gets here, double that profit and find out the new selling price. So I think that's the way you can solve it very easily. I mean, conventional way of solving it. Percentage profit is equal to cost price. So S minus C by C into 100 equals to C, where S is 96. Substitute and solve for C, right? The other way of solving this question could be to go by options. If you if you find solving quadratic equation to be complex, go by options. Like, like if you see, try to solve the quadratic equation, what happens? We get 96 into 100, 9600 minus 100c equals to c squared. Right? Or, or, or we can say uh, c squared plus 100c minus 9600 equals to 0. So what is the value of c here? How do we factor? You can either go by factorization or use the uh, formula minus b plus or minus root or b square minus 4ac by 2a. So factorize this now. We have to get minus 9600. I think 160 and 60 will give that to you, right? 160 and 60. So we can say uh, c squared plus 160c minus 60c minus 9600 equals to 0. So c if you take common, we will get c plus 160. Here minus 60 if you take common, we get C plus 160 because minus 60 into 160 is 9600 or basically 6, 6 into 16 is 96. So 16 to 160 will be 9600 equals to 0. So from this, you know that the cost price is either minus 160 or plus 60. You know that cost price cannot be negative. So this is good. You know the cost price is 60. Right? Cost price cannot be negative. Hence, the cost price has to be the positive value which is 60 rupees here. Now, you know, very simple. It says the cost price is 60. We know that selling price is 96. So how much was profit? Profit was S minus C, which is equal to 96 minus 60, 36 rupees. Now the new profit P dash is twice the original profit. So 2 into 36, which is 72. Right? P dash is 72. What should be the new selling price? Cost price will remain the same plus the profit. So 60 plus 72, which is equal to 132. 132 option 1 would be the answer. Option A would be the answer. All right. Remember, all those who have marked the answer as option C 192 are wrong. This is not a mistake. This is a blunder. Answer cannot be 192. Understand? I I know what the logic uh, is being. I mean, what logic is being followed there for those who have marked 192 as answer. Right? The point is, selling price is given as 96. Now he says the profit has to be doubled. So profit doubles means selling price is doubled. No, it is wrong. If you cannot do that, do it in that way, right? Profit has become 2p. So selling price will become 2 times the selling price. This is wrong. This is a wrong assumption. Understand. If profit is doubled, selling price will not double. Are you able to follow? Because he said he sells at twice the profit, you are doubling the selling price. So 96 into 2, 192. It is a mistake. See, the point to be noted is in this 96 rupees, this 96 rupees of selling price, some part is cost price and the remaining part is profit. Are you able to follow? 96 can be split into two parts, cost price and profit. Only profit is getting doubled. The cost price will remain the cost price. Cost price will not change. <coughs> right? When you say 96 into 2, 192 is the answer, you are doubling the cost price also. But will the cost price get doubled? No, cost price always remains the same. So the point is, you simply cannot double the selling price. 192 will not be the answer. You getting it? 192 cannot be the answer. Right? Only the profit, only one part of 96 is getting doubled. So that is the reason finding out cost price is very important. Once you get the cost price, you can find out what the profit is and only double that portion. 
right? So 36 you double becomes 72 and add that to cost price again. It will give you 132 as answer. Okay. Now, if you do not want to go by this quadratic equation method, if you don't want to follow the conventional method, you can go by the options. How do you solve it by the options? Very simple. What is asked in the question? He is asking us to find the new selling price. Now, according to the option one, the new selling price is 132. Are able to follow? We know that the original selling price is 96. Now, try to find out the difference between these two prices, 96 and 132. Are able to follow? The original selling price is 96. The new selling price is 132. Find out the difference between these two values. How much is the difference? 132 minus 96 is 36. Now, what is this 36? This 36 is actually the original profit. Are you able to follow? Let me let me explain that concept to you, right? Let me quickly get some space. I am explaining you as to how to use the options for solving this one. See, the original selling price S is equal to C plus profit. The new selling price S dash is equal to C plus two times the profit. Right? So, it is obvious that when you take the difference of these two values, when you take S dash minus S, what will you get? C minus C gets cancelled, 2P minus PP. P. So we can conclude that the profit in this case, the original profit in this case is the difference of new selling price and original selling price. Original selling price is 96. It is given to us. This is S. The new selling price is given in the options. Let us use option 1. 132 is the new selling price. Original selling price 96. 132 minus 96 is 36. Which means you are saying that the profit was 36. The original profit was 36. Now understand, if original profit is 36, what will be the cost price? 96 minus 36, 60. Now, if the original profit is 36, what should be the new profit? 72. 36 into 2, 72. Now, 60 plus 72, is it 132? Yes. Balanced or not? Balanced. That's your answer. That will not satisfy for option B. Try with option B, what happens? If you say 150, 150 minus the original selling price, 96, is equal to how much? 54. So, you are saying that the profit is 54. Original profit is 54. That means out of 96 rupees, the profit was 54 rupees. So, what will be the cost price then? 96 minus 54. Yes or no? 96 minus 54. How much is 96 minus 54? It will be 42. So, you are saying that the cost price is 42. Now, double the profit. Original profit is 54. Double of 54. Double of 54 will be how much? One second. Uh, 150 minus 96. 54. So the cost price is 96 rupees minus 54 rupees profit, which is 42. Why is 150 satisfying the condition? Hold on. Original cost, new selling price is 150, original selling price is 96, profit is 54, double of this is 108, 108 plus 42 is giving you 150. Oh, hold on. I think, yeah, the point to be noted is, the point that we need to notice, sorry, uh, we are verifying with the wrong condition. I'm sorry. Let me just quickly repeat this verification using options. We'll, we'll use option one again. Yeah, the way we had verified is actually wrong. See, what we need to verify is that the percentage profit should be equal to the cost price. Whichever option satisfies that will be taken as the correct answer. The way we are verifying every option is satisfied. Of course, the first step remains the same. You have to take the difference of selling price and uh, the two selling prices. So, if you take the first option, 132 is the new selling price. The original selling price is 96. How much is the profit according to option 1? 132 minus 96. How much is 132 minus 96? 36. Yes or no? 132 minus 96 36. So which means the profit is 36. If the profit is 36, what will be the cost price? 60. Now check. See profit is 36, cost price is uh, 60. So what is the profit percentage? 36 by 60. I think I'll clear the screen and do it in detail using the options right we have already solved this let me just show by options this is s dash all these are values of s dash okay according to option one s dash minus s is equal to profit so we can say profit p is equals to 132 minus the original selling price 96 which is equal to 36 rupees now profit is 36 implies what is the cost price cost price will be 96 minus 36 which is equal to 60 cost price is 60 now find out the profit percentage how do you calculate profit percentage? Cost price, sorry, profit by cost price, 36 by 16 to 100. How much is 36 by 16 to 100? 60. Yes or no? 60 percentage, right? How much is the profit percentage? 36 by 60 is 60. Are these two equal or not? Yes or no? That's what is given in the question, right? Percentage profit is same as cost price. Profit percentage is 60. Cost price is also 60. Hence, option 1 is the correct answer. If you go by option 2, what happens? Look at option 2. We can say that profit here will be 150 minus 96. 
which is equal to 54 rupees. Now, if profit is 54, what will be the cost price? 96 minus 54, which is equal to 42. Now, find out the percentage profit. Percentage profit will be how much? Profit 54 by cost price 42 into 100. Now, you know that this will be greater than 100. 54 by 40 is greater than 100. The question says percentage profit should be equal to cost price. The cost price is only 42. Percentage profit is coming out to be greater than 100. Hence, option B is the wrong answer. And similarly, option C and option D will also come out to be the wrong answers.